This new feature that High Level just dropped is an absolute game changer. Now, users can land on your website and communicate with the website. Without having to call, without having to do a chat, they just click a button and then they start communicating with the screen in front of them. They can do this on their mobile, desktop, tablet, whatever the case is. Let me show you how to set this up and then implement it today. Stay tuned. I implemented this with just a few clicks and here it is. So basically this button would sit on your homepage or wherever you want and then users that land on your website can click on this and then it just starts talking to them. I don't know if you could hear that, but it just said, hey, welcome to Sonic Combinator. How can I help you today? Now I put this on a painting website just because it's my demo site, but let me show you how to set up the AI, use the code to put on your website and then publish it so that way it's active immediately. First thing you need to do, log into your high level, go into your sub account here on the top left, click on agents, and then start with this knowledge base. This knowledge base is the brain that you're going to build with all of the knowledge inside. Later, you're gonna create an AI agent that can leverage this knowledge that you just gave it. So click on knowledge base and then say, create new knowledge base. Give it a descriptive name like test on a combinator and then whatever your description is and then hit create. Now we're inside our knowledge base. We have to give it the source of data to go pull by itself. The first source is gonna be a web crawler. Click on that and then hit add source. Click on web crawler. And this is a URL, a uniform resource locator of a website that you might already have or the knowledge that's online somewhere that you wanna import. So you would put your business URL over here or the business that you're supporting. In my case, it's Sonic Combinator. So I'm gonna put that one here and then say extract data. It's going to fetch all of the pages and then understand your website in and out and it'll build that into its knowledge base. The other thing you can do to add to that knowledge base is to learn about that industry itself. What do I mean? So let's say you're at a med spa and you're selling medical treatment. And so somebody lands on the website, they're going to have questions about Botox or fillers or whatever else you sell. So you can come into an LLM, for example, or Gemini or Grok or any one of these and say, I'm building a knowledge base for my AI agent. Give me several facts and highlights about medical spa treatments and how they benefit people. We are trying to convince people that medical spa treatments are helpful. Give it some context and then let it pull data for you across the internet and then it pulls some data. Key facts about medical spa treatments, the benefits for skin and appearance, wellness, mental health, personalized, long-lasting care, and on and on. And you can build on top of this, say, give me more, and then give me more. Or if you have a reputable website already out there, let's say somebody's done some research or it's on a university white page, you can point to that website as well and add data to your knowledge base. So now your AI agent is just getting smarter and smarter. And so how do you get this data over to your AI agent? Well, you just copy it like this, control C for copy. And now you need some kind of an online URL. An easy trick is to go into your Google Drive, create a document, and then point that document to the AI agent. Let me show you how. So this is Google Drive. Just go to drive.google.com, create new, and a Word document, and then paste your data inside there. Okay, give it a nice descriptive name, and then you're gonna come up here and click on share. And then you see how it's restricted right now? That means only I, as authenticated to this drive, have access to this document. But you can essentially give anybody on the internet access to this. Hit the drop down and say anyone with the link. Now, anybody with this link up here, you can't see it, can access this document. So I'm gonna say copy link and I'm going to give it to the AI agent. So come back to your knowledge base in high level click on add source, another web crawler, and then now give it the Google Drive link. So it has a whole thing from Google Drive, it's sharing and then extract data. And now just like another website, your knowledge base is gonna pull that data from the Google Docs that you just created. And then you have other sources of information. Frequently asked questions, click add source, FAQ. So for example, you might have a question, how long have you been in business? Maybe you get that question all the time and you say 20 years or whatever the case is. Hit save. And now that's one of the questions your AI can answer. And then you have tables. So for example, if you were a shipping company and you needed to figure out the measurement of a box plus the distance and how much is that going to cost and sort of a table that you would look up typically, well, now you give that table to AI and then it can just answer those questions for the user. Rich text is another clever way. Exactly what we did with Google Docs. I would basically paste the data in here 
and then hit save and now it can reference the rich text and then file upload you guessed it maybe you have a ton of pdf documents or word documents you can go ahead and upload them and now it's that much smart smarter where it would be really helpful is if a company used this for their own training material let's say there's computer-based training or some standard operating procedures upload them here and then now your ai agent can be the designated trainer for your entire company and unfortunately folks on the lower tier of that totem pole are probably going to find a different job the managers and the leaders of that company are just going to become that much more efficient so you want to get ahead of the curve and make yourself stand out at your own company leverage this and then take it to your boss's boss and tell them that you're building this and you can find efficiencies within the business and maybe they designate you as the ai person who's going to lead that charge job security okay once your agent is created you'll see it in this list so under knowledge base, you have it right here. Now we need to go ahead and build the front end, which is that widget you saw on the website. How do you do that? You go over here to sites and then up here on the right, chat widget, and then click new. And it's this one over here on the right. And it says, let website visitors talk to an AI agent that listens, speaks, and handles conversations for you 24 seven, no human needed. Perfect, click on that. And some of you may not have this feature, but you can enable it. If you're not the agency owner, talk to your agency. But if you are the agency owner, let me show you where to go. Go up to the agency view and then bottom left, go to settings. And then all the way at the bottom, click on labs. Labs are high levels way of sharing beta versions of features with you. So that way you can test them ahead of time. And sometimes you can enable them. Otherwise, you'll just have to wait until they're released. So for example, right here, it says live in 65 days, but you can go ahead and activate now. I like to come in here and beta test all of them. So I try to turn on everything. This is my test account. So if it breaks something, doesn't really matter, but you have two options. The agency view is for everything under the agency. But if you want to approve things specifically for sub accounts, click on sub account and then pick the features there. I like to periodically just come in here and enable everything. So I have all of them. So what you want to do is search for voice and then go ahead and enable voice support and conversation AI, and then enable all the other ones too, just if you're testing. Now back to the chatbot. That was under the sub account and then sites and then chat widget and then click new. And now you should have voice AI. Go ahead and click that this time. And now you're inside the chat widget creation area. And then over here on the top left, you should see agent. This is the new feature that you just enabled. So click on agent and what you wanna do is check the knowledge base or check the agent you just created. If you don't have one, hit create new agent. But keep in mind the voice AI calls cannot be recorded. So anybody communicating with your website directly through voice is not a recorded call. You won't be able to go back and summarize it or extract data from the transcript. But it is going to be able to collect information like first name, last name, address, all of the typical data in order to generate an appointment. And now the rest of it is you customizing it. So you can change things like the prompt, you can change what that icon would look like, the different themes you might have, what greeting do you want, the welcome message, where do you want it located on your screen. So over here it says talk to us, for example, you might want to say any questions. You can enable a contact form as well, where they can just fill it out when they're chatting. So you collect their information before they even begin the chat. Under style, you can change the image as well. You can have an image of yourself or you can upload your own. Maybe you want to upload your logo, for example, and now it turns into that. And this is really just designing the widget itself on how it looks on your website. Once you're done designing it the way it looks, now you come up here on the top right, get code. And then this is a code that you're going to embed into your website in order to make this chatbot appear to anybody that lands on your website. So click on copy and then go back to your sub account, click on sites and then pick websites find the website you want to edit, go ahead and hit edit, and then hit the plus button on the top left, and then search for code, and then grab this square and then drop it wherever you want this chatbot to appear. So I want it right here. It's sort of a really cool feature that somebody's gonna be very impressed. Click on open code editor, and then paste that same code you got earlier, and hit save. And now when you preview, on the top right, this I button, you're going to see the call us here feature. And anybody that lands on your website clicks on this. This works on mobile, tablet, desktop, 
they're going to instantly be able to communicate with website. This is definitely the future and any business that's not implementing this is just going to fall behind. Gone are the days when you call somebody and then you get a voicemail or it just rings and rings and rings or you get some kind of automated message saying, we're too busy, we're gonna call you back. There's no excuse for local business owners not to have this. So reach out to a high level expert today, get this immediately. And if you're an agency that wanna build this, and sell it to local businesses, use my affiliate link to get your free 30 day trial. You also get a bootcamp. You have a 15 part series that walks you through this entire setup. You get my snapshot. So that way you're up and running from day one. And then I also add you to our paid Google's campaign. So as leads come in, we shotgun them out to all of our affiliate members. Join my free school community. Talk to me now. I'll help you build your agency and hopefully make you profitable before your trial even expires. See you soon.